Cash is king right now, at least for some wealthy investors, that is. Robert Frank joins us here at Post 9, covering those family offices, which have become a more and more important part of the overall financial ecosystem. They have, and also ultra-high net worth investors. If you look at wealthy investors right now, they are still very much in wealth preservation mode as opposed to growth mode, the world's ultra-high net worth investors. That's those with a million dollars or more in investable assets. They now have 34% of their portfolios in cash. That is up from 24% a year ago. Marks a record high going back at least 20 years. That's according to a new study from Capgemini. Their holdings in stocks at their lowest in 21 years with stocks accounting for just 23% of their portfolios. Look at alternatives. That's private equity, hedge funds, other privates. That's holding steady at around 13%. More than two-thirds say their priority right now as investors is wealth preservation. Even family offices, that's usually investors with $100 million or more. They're moving a lot of money to the sidelines. They're planning to add more fixed income from 12 to 15 percent, and they plan to trim their equities a little bit lower to 24 percent. That's according to a new study from UBS. As one family office told UBS, quote, we are not making big bets on anything right now. Well, it may also be that, you know, if you can get 6% a year or 7%, you have 100 million bucks, you're going to be okay. And that was an environment that didn't exist for a long period of time. Now it does. That's, by the way, kind of risk-free rate. I mean, when you go out a bit in terms of private credit, Robert, there's real opportunities available to get serious return. And it was really surprising to me. I mean, these are investors that have access to the best financial products in the world, around the world. And they're still into the 5 6% risk-free return. That is, no matter what you compare it to, really attractive. And, and the amount of cash that they have right now in those cash equivalents is so hot. We were just t talking about, you know, we, we interviewed Greg Lemkow last week in Santa Barbara of Michael Dell's family office. They're merging with BDT. There was a purchase of um, $100 million worth of Under Armour shares from Kevin Plank. I don't know if you saw this by BDT. Just and they did attention. Sherry Redstone last week from National Amusements. They've actually been moving in to help, I think, some of these founders and or owners who are levered a bit to their stock and want to not have to sell the stock. Mm, right, because Under Armour made a big point that yep. Plank is not liquidating. Mm -hmm. He's just selling. But it, it, it provides a nice boost of confidence. Yeah, and there is so much cash sitting there that they're going to look for these little opportunities, whether it's a big office building in New York that's suddenly become attractive from a price point of view or even some public equities, a lot of direct deals in the private equity space. And private credit where you're getting 12, 15 percent returns for now on, you know, top of the capital stack lending where the banks are not lending. So they are finding some opportunities, but not in public equity. It's interesting. You know, the, the, the conversation right now in public markets is obviously about structural growth and technology. And I wonder historically if these kinds of offices have been first to jump into those chapters or if they've waited to see how it panned out? The, the tech family offices, uh, those 40-year-old tech founders that now have a big fortune in family office, they're early into AI, really with sort of specific applications of AI, whether it's in financial services or security, as opposed to the big Googles and Amazons and Apples of the world, et cetera. So they are trying to find those, but there aren't that many at that level that you can really get a serious investment. But the tech, the tech family offices are looking for that right now. That's good stuff. Wow, that's a lot. Thanks, Robert, thanks. Good to see you. Robert Frank this morning.